Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your reading, guys. If you're new, I'm Miss Sadie, and if you're returning, then welcome back, my darlings. I love seeing all of you. Thank you so much for all the love and support, and we're almost at 20K, so it's a huge thank you, and as a giveaway, I'm gonna bring back the free readings at the end. So to get picked for me to pull a card for you for the next reading, then I want you to comment three things you're grateful for, where you're watching from, how it resonates, or maybe even your favorite quote. You can just pick something from there, but you gotta be, uh, you gotta be subscribed, you gotta uh, share this as well, and yes, I can check, and I wanna just uh, let you guys know too, I'm also on TikTok at Miss ED1, so make sure you follow there as well. We're having so much fun doing the lives here and there, but I just wanna let you know, guys, that there are scammers, and there are some fake accounts, and they're messaging people, saying they're me, asking for money, and telling you they're gonna give you a free reading, but that's not me. You can only get a reading with me on my lives with my face on it where I give them away or you go to my website missedtarot.com where you can book your tarot readings. I have digital spreads as well as live calls. I also have astrology chart assessments and readings and I can compare you and your person and I'm also doing corporate events. So please feel free to uh, book anything you want there and all the availability is there. We're gonna do these beautiful light and dark cards so we're gonna see those different energies, the divine feminine messages, the divine masculine can confessions. We're going to check the tarot as well as my new oracle deck. So let's see what's coming in for the light side. Wow. Okay. That one fell on the dark. Oh, I was born to love you. This reminds me of the Bon Jovi song. You were born to be my baby and baby. I was made to be your man. I love that because I'm a Bon Jovi fan here, but let's see what else is coming through. These are the light side messages. Maybe you're a Bon Jovi fan too. Comment your favorite song love that. <laughs> That's a good one. All right, let's see what's coming through with the dark side. The dark side, Scorpios. What's the dark side in your situation? What is happening here? So this is, again, yin and yang energy, masculine, feminine energy. Guys, I read the energies of the cards, so only take them how they resonate for you. And if it doesn't sound like your situation, it might have not been your reading this time. So again, please don't try to make it fit, and it can't always be for each of us, okay? So let's see. And these are not personal readings, okay? Just so you know, sometimes they feel very personal, <laughs> but sometimes they are also for the general here. Okay, so that's the masculine energies. Let's see what's coming through. These are the feminine energies, or of course, take them how they resonate, light and dark. I was born to love you as we started clearing. I am letting go of all the things that don't serve me anymore. Okay, someone pulled out those scissors and they're just cutting away. I know that we are meant to be together. So there is a very strong connection between the two of you. They feel it, you feel it. Nostalgic, you always made me smile and you really were the best thing in my life. It only took one look into your eyes and I knew that I would love you forever. <laughs> so this person is in love with your eyes, without a doubt. Or you guys have this stare thing. Even after all this time, you are still the one I want. And that reminds me of Shania Twain. You're still the one. <laughs> You're still the one I run to. The only one I belong to. Okay, we got songs coming through for you today, but Reunion, I will return to you if it's meant to be, it will be. And there's another song for you too, which is uh, that beautiful, if it's meant to be, it'll be. Baby, just let it be. I'm not gonna sing because I don't wanna ruin them for you. <laughs> so the dark side messages. I can't be around you right now. We trigger each other like crazy and we both need some space. So yeah, pokey, pokey the bear here. I feel like some of you could be dealing with a twin flame situation with all these triggers, um, but there's definitely a lot of healing and there's a lot of beautiful memories too. Like, you know, there's good moments, but I feel like you guys just are too prickly right now. I keep replaying our conversations in my head over and over again thinking about it a lot. Healing. I'm focused on myself right now and really healing my wounds. I'm taking this seriously. Excellent. So I feel like part of the trigger is also recognizing that it's there and healing is necessary in order to clear all that. So that's kind of the point of triggering each other, which is why I figured it's the twin flame situation because some of you are needing to clear that with this soulmate. Again, when the soul is ready, the mate will appear. So if you're not with your person yet and you're like, why? I'm being patient. I'm doing all this, but there's still work to do. 
my darlings. I'm sorry, but I'll tell you. I'll be the one to tell you. I know that my silence is causing a lot of suffering, but I really need this time to face my shadows on my own right now. They're being brave though. I feel like they really are trying to overcome this. I know that we have unresolved karma that we need to clear first. So there is definitely a karmic situation or again um, facing you is facing their triggers is healing right I love you so much and I keep running from you I don't understand why I do this runner chaser twin flame oh someone running so we got reunion so they run in until they realize that they ran back to you <laughs> no I will return to you if it's meant to be it'll be so just let them run until they run out of steam right now. I feel like whatever's going on, they got to deal with it. Divine Feminines, messages of love. This is by Liz Harrison. She's an amazing twin flame reader, actually. So this could be perfect for some of you. So what are the Divine Feminines? Again, take which one resonates. We consist of both those energies. So this might resonate, that might resonate. The feminine energy speaks to the healing, nurturing, loving side. And then the masculine side speaks to the action, speaks to, of course, aw. Open your heart. Open your heart, Scorpio. Open your heart. Look into your heart. <laughs> Is that even the right lyrics? Wow, you guys just got songs. It's just songs and songs. I feel like you guys hear each other and converse through songs. Very significant. Music is very important for you. Very important. It's important for me too, I get it. That's why I know them. <laughs> okay, here we go. Da, da, da. So like I said, open your heart. Our love is eternal. Eternal flame. Another song. Okay, I'm just I'm just gonna put a playlist with you guys. I will never hurt you. They love you so much. And you're safe with this person. And I feel like some of you have been hurt too much that you're too scared, right? With all these healing. There's been a lot of hurt. Scorpio, you guys love so deeply, and there is a lack of people's emotional capacity to comprehend the love of a Scorpio. So I understand so much that uh, it is not reciprocated often, and when that doesn't happen, it's painful. So you shut down, and then you go deeper, deeper, deeper into the darkness. Aww, I love you. They do love you. Uh, you are the one, you are the only one for me. Wow. And I am here for you whenever you need them. Just remind me of ABBA. <laughs> you need me, call me, baby. SOS. Okay. Well, that triggered something. We got the divine masculine confessions just flying out. Wow. Okay, the masculine is hurting. Ouch. Running. Okay, running twice. So I'm going to just stop there. Running running it running it <laughs> i need time apart from you to figure things out on my own this is all just too intense and then we have awakening i'm becoming my true authentic self okay masculine is going through some real stuff that's why i said that there's a lot of changes happening clearing a lot of things oh my okay what are you guys doing karma <laughs> guys karma is here i'm now finally facing the consequences of my actions the masculine energy is really facing a lot of things here uh, a lot of stuff happening again both ways can take it how it resonates yeah you had karma twice it was on this card too i know that we have unresolved karma that we need to clear first uh sorry karma <laughs> so karma twice running twice just saying a very very consistent message walking away i walked away from you not because i didn't love you but because i didn't love me masculines are having a lot of self-love issues learning to love themselves but their love is your love for each other is eternal it's getting that love for one another individually so that's that's a big lesson separation it's time for us to go our separate ways for a while so we can heal and grow so if you are in the twin flame connection then you are going to be apart right now for a little time until this happens but i will never hurt you i love you this person loves you through it foolish i feel like a complete fool for not saying what i really want Again, not being authentic, not being in their authentic self energy and being honest. Despair. I'm desperately longing for you. Ooh, I feel a lot of pain, a lot of hurt here. Dreaming. I'm having dreams about you. Woohoo! Someone's someone's on your mind. You guys are living somewhere rent free. That's for sure. <laughs> and broken heart. Other people have hurt me in the past, and it's this still hurts. And that's where I felt your heart. Like you've loved so, your love is 
unlike anything. Let me just put it that way. Um, your love, your love making, whatever, wherever you want to take that one. But there is just so much pain that you have endured because all those other people were not this person. Your love with this person is eternal. And the way that you have been hurt, so have they. So believe me when I say this, that they can comprehend the level of pain because the love you have is out there. This person, the love they have, they've gone through very similar situations here too. And I feel like with this healing coming through so strongly as well, you guys are, are really needing to come and face this deep healing, but there's, they're loving you through it. They're sending you love through this. You're sending them love through this. Sorry, take it how it resonates. So the tarot, let's see what the tarot is gonna help us clear. And then we're gonna use my Oracle deck. I'm so excited. You guys can order it from the website. All the links are down below. So only follow the links here. Oh, is someone getting unblocked? I feel like some of you have blocked this person, but you are unblocking somebody. Or again, someone may not be setting boundaries <laughs> because normally this is about standing firm in some boundaries. So maybe someone could have like blocked someone, but now you're letting down those guards, letting down those walls or not being so defensive did you guys have defensive I can't no that was another one so there is um wow it's Scorpio they're just flying out anything else for Scorpios please thank you okay we've got the high priestess intuition is on a whole other level Scorpio you the dreams okay let me put it that way Neptune is in retrograde too so it's clearing a lot of illusion and confusion the snakes are coming out of the grass take it how it resonates the veil is being lifted you are going to be seeing things for what they really are this could be also why you're recognizing stuff or you know realizing stuff and that's also why this energy hits so hard right because it's also your fellow water energy but your intuition is on a whole other level. You guys could also be famous, so hello. You could be doing this too because this is you, my beautiful spiritual goddesses, you know, uh, with that energy, with that high priestess, very in tune into the Akashic Records. Again, two pillars here too. Uh, the new moon energy is gonna be really significant for you guys to really elevate and start a new cycle into your spirituality. You're also rising above a lot of those deep emotions. You've really been doing some deep work. Uh, again, feminine energy, but that doesn't always mean it's the feminines only, um, but with the high priestess there's a lot of secrets a lot of things that were being revealed again so this person was holding back and being defensive and maybe now they're lowering those walls a little bit six of cups again nostalgia here twice so there could be a lot of nostalgic energy you always made me smile you really were the best thing in my life so both of you have very beautiful memories together you had a lot of fun with this person this person always made you laugh always made you smile like I feel like with music too you guys probably always like had music going you know like had the same taste same interest like there's just a lot of stuff like everything you did was just a lot of happiness love spending time outdoors um, maybe some of you have like you know shut off to that some of you this is a past person in some way okay past energy can be again past life here too but you're gonna get communication with the ace of swords so i mean you could have cut somebody out but we do have a truth coming in something that is bringing in this clarity this idea communication with the divine here so some of you are also again cutting those cords remember we were we were talking about the karma the consequences um closing out some stuff i feel like there's just a lot of that fell upside down so some of you might have not been getting the message if you blocked them but i feel like because you unblocked them that's going to be coming in it's definitely a beautiful ten of cups it's gonna make you so happy Scorpio again uh, some of you could be getting a new home making new contracts some of you could be of course signing a new lease or something here with this but this is a new home new house new happiness blessings and abundance everything you want being in this beautiful place some of you could live by water too uh, this is just really like filled with just everything you could wish for whatever I feel like some of you could even be moving in with this person uh, I feel like there's just a lot of happiness and getting married oh my god this is like the marriage marriage is coming getting the new house signing this again very beautiful this is also the soulmate card so some of you are really really dealing with a soulmate past life connection could be a twin flame because you got all this triggering and karma and all this so some of you could have dealt with the karma which was what is like cutting those cords so you have a fresh start the ace is about new beginnings new truths star card which is the healing some of you are also very very famous and i just showed they just made me remember this that we have the high priestess and the higher fan this is an incredibly powerful spiritual couple 
So you too could be very famous for what it is you do in spirituality. <laughs> Star card's like, no, you're not gonna talk about me yet. You guys have done what you needed to do to evolve to these higher form beings of yourselves, beings of light. Uh, for those of you who've done the work, your person is also doing the work and you are in the public eye. You are public speakers. Feminine energy and you know the masculine here too is gonna really bring this in. Emotionally too, uh, this is like someone who is mentoring. Some of you could be, of course, mentors as well or getting a mentor coming through here as well. Um, you're doing really well. You could be working really closely with others, bringing other people towards their happiness too. But this is definitely a beautiful connection. And I feel like also because it's on the spiritual level, the dreams make sense because you're communicating. So the star card <laughs> is fame, is success, is a wish coming true, is everything you could have dreamed of and wanted, but wanted, but it's also healing. So this healing energy that's really clearing all this, you're balancing on this. That's why we're, I'm focused on myself right now and really healing my wounds. And I'm taking this seriously. Like this person is seriously focusing on getting into alignment, on getting into their best version of themselves as they should. So should you, and you are, they are beautiful. Hangman talks about that need to have this. This is that break before you step into enlightenment. So some of you, that's why there's separation. Some of you could have already separated from this person or someone, and it's true. Hold on. Excuse me. They always say when you sneeze in my culture, when you sneeze, when you're saying something or when someone says something, it's true. So there is a period of separation, which was necessary here. And we did have separation. I'm just saying there's so many synchronistic messages. It's time for us to go our separate ways so that we can heal and grow. So this was necessary. You both needed this change in perspective um, to help lay down these walls, to help break through the past, to help clear that past energy, um, to bring in this enlightenment. Because again, needing to see things from a different perspective, and this is the outcome after the hangman, is that they have taken this time of self-inflicted kind of time out here. So some of you could have been really isolating or just seeing things from a very negative perspective. And I sort of feel like that's sort of like the same energy, like, you know, not standing up for something. So they didn't fight for this love. They didn't whatever. And then all of a sudden it's like, now they're putting their defenses down. Someone could have been very defensive against it and not allowing this in. Okay. And then we have moving forward, moving from the chaos. So with this night, this is fast action, a message, someone coming to visit you, um, whatever chaos was going on, like they're coming to you. And I feel like you don't see this coming. Look at you. Look at how pretty and gorgeous here. Queen of cups. I love so much love. This person's got a lot of passion. Oh, they, they, they riding up fast. Okay, let me just put it that way. They're just coming in to tell you how they feel. Of course, this is a pregnant queen as well. So with that wand fire energy, just saying, very fun baby making energy coming through. But for others of you, it might not be what you want. Uh, queen of Cups, though, you're looking good. You're very loving, very caring, very compassionate. They see you as having a beautiful heart of gold. Queen, also in yellow, is about the self-esteem. You're getting your esteem, you're getting your self-esteem back, and your root chakra is helping you get balanced and get grounded. Some of you could have dogs here too, but of course that's the twins because she's also the pregnant queen. So I just I can't, you know, just saying it's a very loving time. Also, two the twins, twins. Why is it twins everywhere? Oh my. Okay, so this is the journey into love. This is my oracle deck, guys. And literally staring back at me is soulmate. So I'm just saying, very strong <laughs> soulmate connection. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. Our adventure begins. Wow. Okay, so apparently my deck just wants my love and light. They love you so much. Everything about you is they just love. Oh, I love it. Okay, we have. Oh my. Okay, we got quite a bit. <gasps> It's so hard, okay? So I feel like part of it too is because they like were fighting this so long, so it's really hard for them to let down those walls. Someone's really boarded up, but of course uh, <clears throat> the innuendos are very present in this deck. So I was talking about that fire running in, <laughs> rushing in with that big wand energy, miss me. So I feel like there's sort of this energy of like missing you. Like you left such a energy that when you were gone, it's just darkness. Like without you, it's dark, but with you, it's like this, you know, I don't know. It's really hard without you. So they miss you. Soulmate energy, of course. Our song, I told you, you guys connect through music. There are very specific songs that make you think of your person, that makes them think of you. Um, again, or vice versa, you have a song and you keep hearing it. Just 
beautiful. Music is so important here. Rainbow drops. I love this. So these are the last drops right at the end of the storm. So for some of you, this is sort of like when the rainbow comes out. And I heard too, for some of you, it's a rainbow baby. So this is also like after whatever the difficulty could have been, maybe you stopped trying for children, but this is going to be a very abundant time here. And again, it's tears of joy. So that's beautiful. Then there was you. So all of a sudden, whatever was going on, there was you again with that same kind of pink energy there too. So again, you know, feminines, wow, I've never felt like this before. So this person just has no idea what to do, how to react, how to be. And that's also why it's so triggering because they got to clear a lot of stuff. Like your person recognizes that they got to clear shit to come towards you and vice versa. You realize that you got to let go of things too, because this person is showing and mirroring to you the things like what we love about people are the same things we love about ourselves. And what we don't love about people or things that trigger us are because it's also within us. So it's also just a recognition on seeing those parts of us. You and I are like castles in the sky. Again, that's the second Cascada song that came through for you today. Passion ignites. I love it. So there's definitely a burning flame, a lot of fire, but with that volcano, there's eruptions coming. Let me just put it that way. And I chose this life knowing to, I would be with you. Wow. Okay. That's so beautiful, Scorpio. Um, I can't, I don't know. I feel like, you know, soul contract, soulmates, very beautiful union, marriage. This is leading to something very happy. Like all of a sudden, like you are their wish come true. You are everything this person could want. Of course, they want to lock it down. <laughs> okay, let's just put it that way. I love it. But there's just a lot of work that needs to be done. So allowing that to happen, it's so hard because they are missing you. Okay, like even in general without being sexual, it's just that they really do miss you. Um, I feel like that's very mutual here. But there's just a lot of need to focus on your separate selves grow and heal and then come back together when it's right but they do miss you and they are thinking about you so i hope you guys are able to find the clarity you need don't forget to comment below so i could pick you to do a reading for the next reading and as always guys thank you so much for all your love and support and i'm so excited for the 20,000. so thank you so much for all your energy and time and i appreciate all of you and make sure you join the community so that you can get those posts every day i post what i find online to give you more context and more support through whatever you're dealing with because what it works for me might work for you too so if i find them i share them and as always please do check the other videos so they can give you more clarity in your current situations focus on the titles not the time because of course that could be when that message was needed to be received by you and it maybe might be what you need to hear today if this wasn't that and if you miss me you can go check it out too so as always stay safe god bless love and light and we'll see you really soon take care bye